action keeps the group organized out there. Down the wing, Arachi crosses it through, and it's jabbed just wide. Goal and three assists this season. Drives this one to the top of the box, stepping in from distance. Cerny curls it, center of the box. It's blocked by the keeper, Hogan. Still down inside the mixer. And finally, the Friars escape a little trouble. Cerny forward for Erickson Russo, and she shielded off the ball. But plenty still to play for if they can get into the Big East tournament. That ball in, punched away by Hogan. Bumps off some pressure. Gets it to Ben, stepping in. Alexa Ben, left-footed shot, curls wide. Friars working the wide flank. Cross in, curling away from Frosca, but she still gets to it. But Batliner stood her ground. This is sent back through, and a diving effort goes wide. Here's Camille Murphy. Let's it go from a long way out. Skipper in, and Frosca gobbles it up for her third save. Looking for Murphy. She steps around to challenge. Murphy's shot stoned. Day bends it, top of the box, catches ahead. Bouncing in front, Frosca is off the line. Down the stretch. Dusarek blasts this one, header redirected wide. Elizabeth Indy on the free kick. Plays one up into the mixer. Out comes Hogan. Edwards a chip and it's over the bar. Russo and it's a night for the defenses in Providence. 110 minutes of scoreless soccer. Friars and Blue Demons draw nil-nil. The Providence College women's soccer team tied DePaul zero goals apiece. Thursday night on Chappie Field at Anderson Stadium. I'm joined now by senior midfielder Christina Klom. Christina, senior night tonight. That's a big story. What was going through your mind right before your name was called for the pregame ceremonies? I mean, I really couldn't believe it. We had all of our senior families um, behind the tunnel. Um, all of the upper, the uh, what's it called? The <laughs> underclassmen were all um, lining up, and we were waiting. Uh, for names to be announced and I wasn't the first name but when I was standing there with my family there was tons of emotions running through my mind and once I heard my name be announced and everything I just was so emotional and I think I started tearing up because I just can't believe that you know that night had finally came I know coach talked about it since my freshman year um, that you know it flies and to enjoy every moment and I can't believe that it's finally here especially considering that you've gone from all the different fields here on campus to here. It was a special night. Obviously a little bit frustrating out there for you guys. You couldn't get a goal scored there. How did you guys keep from getting frustrated and keep pushing all the way through both overtimes? So, you know, at uh, halftime we knew that it was 0-0 and we had a lot of uh, final third passes and we just talked about how we had to continue to work hard and have that blue collar uh, mentality because, you know, it's not easy to score goals. So we just had to go out there and not really focus on necessarily um, running for the goal but rather just play the game and if we do all the right things and the pieces will come together um, and then you know going into two overtimes we knew that we had to do all the little things and we knew that it wasn't going to be easy to score a goal and even if it wasn't pretty we had to do whatever we could but unfortunately you know didn't follow through and we couldn't get one but we just had to remain focused and do the best that we could and make sure that we fought till the end and because at the end of the day it's not easy to score goals you know it wasn't easy to score goals today for DePaul Third straight shutout in a row for you guys. If you could pick one factor behind your recent success on defense, what do you think it is? I would just say that we've all been really well defensively, all of us, working hard. You know, I mean, credit to, you know, our goalkeeper and our defense, but, you know, it's not only them. It's everybody working from the forwards down, you know, everybody doing their job defensively. I think we're doing a great job um, on the flank. We're doing a lot better and improving in individual 1v1 duels, but I would say definitely our box defending has improved a lot. So. All right, well, Christina, good luck this weekend, and hopefully we see you back here again in the playoffs. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can catch the Friars this Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. when they take on Seton Hall. You can catch the game on the Big East Digital Network. For Friars.com, I'm Nick Rojas.